Hey everybody and welcome back to the Pike Homestead. So I'm here still uh, working on clearing out the barn here. Uh, all the heavy lifting is pretty much done. I've just got a few things that I need to clean up and then we can actually start cleaning down the walls. Um, so I've got the piping from the old uh, radiant heating system needs to come out. Uh, so I gotta do a couple of cuts on that and, uh, and then I can get that out. And then also grinding down the uh, the last of the bolts on the floor from the cattle squeeze and then I'm gonna bring in the uh, the pressure washer and spray down the walls and uh, after that's dried up we gotta start painting and then we start building in the wall the uh, fences and stuff for the chickens and uh, got some exciting ideas for what I want to do with the laying boxes and everything like that too so it's uh, it's gonna be a fun ride so you definitely want to watch along um, as we go uh, but as it is for right now, I guess that still got some stuff I got to pull out and clean up and then uh, and then we get on to you know the fun stuff in the following days. So you know I'm just gonna get my music going and uh, and get grinding away here. So uh, follow along. I'm cleaning stuff up here and getting things out of the way like this is right where the the cattle squeeze was and one of the things that I hadn't really kind of put together or noticed as we're you know before now was the fact that this right here was the site of an electrical outlet of some sort and it's also been on fire um, you know like there's plenty of holes in the walls and stuff like that that you didn't really pay attention to and with all the stuff here never really looked at it it also had you know a fence like a gate right in front of it hung here so I've never really looked at it and seen that there is an old, you know, it looks like a really old electrical outlet that's caught on fire and is mostly destroyed. But it's also something I can't leave uh, sitting the way it is. So I've got to pull the broken bits out um, and see what's there and tie off any leads that need to be tied off before I come in with a pressure washer and start spraying the walls. Um, so I'm going to work on uh, getting that done here. And, uh, you know, it, there seems like there is a power lead in there somewhere in the wall as far as what my uh, my wall sensors tell me there's some power in there but not right at the unit so I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> unscrew it pull it out see what's there and uh, and see what it's connected to and whether it's live and where the leads are and what I need to do to block it off so I'm just gonna futz around with that before I keep going with the rest of the cleanup and spray down in here All right, so we're all ready now to start spraying down the walls. So I'm going to get started on that. And uh, yeah, we'll see how clean it gets. So just take a look at it here and uh, we'll do a before and after. So that's uh, spraying down all the gross material and dirt and literal poop off the walls. 
Uh, so it's just a matter of letting it dry now, and then I can uh, get the paint gun out and paint this, make it nice and bright and white on, on this side at least. We'll do the other side of the barn at another time. Uh, because we do have, you know, a deadline of, of chicks being born relatively soon, so I need to get birds moved and, and into the new space. So, uh, yeah, it won't be too long, and then I'll be uh, hammering some, some boards into the concrete here and getting up some new fencing and mesh, and we're going to go floor to ceiling uh, and have it be a fully enclosed coop with, a, you know, a gate and everything. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, then we can start working on the outside and get that done. Um, you know, there's going to be lots of work that needs to be done to get it, you know, bird pretty. And uh, while well, our eggs are hatching now in about a week, so we want to get that uh, get that done within the next week or two because then we'll need to be moving them into the brooding box and, and I need to have a place to put the uh, guineas to get them situated. So we're working on that as quickly as we can here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks for, for watching along with this next bit of cleanup here. Um, yeah, and I'll, uh, we'll continue on probably tomorrow uh, as, as I get started on the painting.